Well, if you saw the title and the thumbnail photo for this video, you already know what it's about. I've been wanting to build a thumb for this backhoe since before I even owned a backhoe, and I actually wanted to buy a backhoe just for this project because I've always wanted a thumb or a grapple of some sort on a machine. So the thumb I'm building is going to be built strictly of scrap metal like everything I build, and this is going to be a hydraulic thumb, not mechanical. I don't want to mess with always having to get out and move the thumb back and forth where I want it. So, uh, however, this is going to be a little bit different than your conventional hydraulic thumb. This is not going to have its own valve to control it. I'm going to try my luck at plumbing the cylinder in to the bucket cylinder so then they both walk at the same time. And then putting in a shutoff valve so I can turn the thumb off if I'm not wiring it. Now, uh, this is kind of an interesting idea that we thought up so we don't have to bother trying to get a valve plumbed in. I have a bunch of valves I could put in, but it's just a hassle of uh, getting it plumbed in and then trying to find a place to put it in the cab. And if this doesn't end up working out, then I will put a valve in the cab, but uh, I believe we have this figured out, so we're gonna give it a try. So let's go take a look at the uh, metal we have to make this out of. This was the uh, uprights to a farmhand F11 loader. I kept this around because it is very heavy box steel. And uh, we're going to hopefully use some of these uh, joints and mounts here for pins. We're going to use those to advantage and hopefully uh, get some good use out of it. And then right here we have the hydraulic cylinder that I'm going to be using. And this is a cylinder off of a uh, disc that's lifted one of the wings. And I don't know anything about cylinder. Got it at an auction further ago. Been sitting in an old shed. So I don't know anything about it. We're hoping it's good. If not, I have some other ones that we could probably use. Well, after a whole bunch of cutting with the torch, I got this stick a box still freed up from the old loader frame and I've kind of changed up plans of what I'm doing because I found out I can use these joints here this here is originally the loader arm that's been cut off and uh, I'm going to use this for my joint for the thumb you can hinge all the way down this direction hinge all the way back up it doesn't go quite far enough but I'm going to cut this back and uh, it should make it all work and I'm just going to get this cut off to length Weld up this piece of box still for the center of the thumb and do a little bit of cutting, some welding, and we'll see what we can get. Well, that has taken me way too long to get all my metal cut up and prepared. There's a lot of uh, junk I had to get cut off and uh, took a lot of time. Uh, this here is going to be my joint for the thumb. And uh, this piece of box here, this is going to be the center of the thumb. And it's going to have two more pieces of box on each side. It's going to make up the width of the bucket. And uh, I'm going to couple this the joint here to this box still. By using this heavy piece of box that I got cut up, they're going to just set right over and uh, weld all up solid. And I think that should be strong enough to uh, hold. Like I said, this uh, thumb's not really going to be used for really super heavy stuff. It would just be nice to grab some veins and move around. So if this isn't insanely heavy, it'll probably still work for what I want. And uh, this uh, channel iron here that is all setting in, uh, this joint is going to be welded down to it and uh, this stick of a channel is going to be welded to the hoe arm itself and uh, on the other end of it is going to have the mount for the hydraulic cylinder. So I wanted to put this channel on the arm just for a little bit more uh, reinsurance that it's not going to tear the arm up because this isn't a very big block of metal to be welded onto the stick of the hoe. So uh, I think this channel here is uh, real thick and heavy. It should be plenty to help support the arm and hopefully we don't cause any damage. And that's my whole goal for this whole build is I don't want to do any damage to the uh, machine itself. So maybe all this will make more sense to you once it's all uh, welded together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. Uh, 
Okay, I got this stuck into place here. I got tack welded on. And I went ahead and I put a strap around the top end of it here, just in case it come loose and nail them in the head. So uh, now all this here is tack welded in place. I guess I'll probably go ahead and get the uh, white portal that I have made. I'll go ahead and get it put in here and uh, it should drop right in here in between these two teeth. And then the other parts of the thumb, when I get it built, will drop between these two teeth and the one on this side here too. So uh, I'll go ahead and get this in place, figure out on where exactly I need to cut my uh, box still at. And I guess we'll go from there. Here's what I come up with on the length of the thumb. It's uh, going to come out of that white line. That's uh, 34 inches. And it seems like this is a pretty good length because when I raise up the uh, backhoe and curl the bucket down, so it seems like when the bucket is opened up, that's about where it should uh, be at. So I guess I'll go ahead and start getting this cut off and then we'll start uh, figuring out what we need to do to uh, build the rest of them. I'm going to go ahead and hop in the machine and uh, move the bucket around and see, make sure this uh, thumb lines up with the edge of the bucket and uh, make sure it's all good to go before I get it finished. Well, that's actually looking uh, pretty decent there. Um, you may have noticed the thumb did come back and it hit the uh, boom here when it rolled all the way back. But uh, I'm probably going to be shortening that uh, thumb an inch or two. So we shouldn't have uh, too big of an issue once it's completely finished. And as you may or may not see, it's starting to rain, so I got to get busy. Three days later. So I got all the teeth cut out here on my main center piece of the thumb. I still need to trim the end of this. I just need to get it measured and figure out what I need to cut at. So that's why the end still looks like this here. I uh, got a notch cut in this piece of metal here, which that's going to come into play here in just a minute. And 
I got my other pieces of steel cut, all the teeth are all cut, and so I think we're ready to start welding this all together. Well, I got welded up here good enough to hold. I got the center welded up here pretty solid, but these side pieces here, they're just tacked on because I want to make sure it all lines up with the bucket. These are supposed to go between uh, the teeth in the bucket, so I, I want to make sure it's all lined up and going to work out before I weld it all solid. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I guess get this put on the bucket and see how it looks. Well, I got to them set here into place and it all lined up pretty decent. I had to cut my tack welds on each side of them because both sides were hanging up by like a quarter inch on the teeth of the buckets. So I cut two of the three welds on each side and uh, lightly just bent it out a quarter inch and now it's all looking pretty decent. So this is going to be part one uh, building this back of them. The uh, main them itself is finished. I just need to go through, weld it all solid, which will take a little bit of time. And then once it's welded up, next video, part two, is going to be on getting the hydraulic cylinder mounted and getting it plumbed in. And we'll see on how that goes. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm planning on plumbing in the hydraulic cylinder for the them with the cylinder on the bucket. So they should both work together. And then I'm going to be putting in a shutoff valve in line with the bucket thumb cylinders so I can actually turn it off from inside the cab and then the thumb will not move when I move the bucket. And uh, we'll see on how this all works. I have no idea how it's going to work. So it's going to be a learning experience here for everybody and we'll see on what it does. And I will be uploading short videos every day on this build. So uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, you can follow along on how it's going and see on if this whole thing works or not. So it would be great if you would subscribe, uh, give the video a thumbs up and leave comments down below. Love to hear what you guys have to say. And I really do appreciate everyone watching and subscribing. We're just about to hit 2,000 subscribers so that's exciting. And I guess as always I will see you next week.